There are times when we're working. There are times. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for joining me on Cybersol's journey into getting more enjoyment and success using Joomla. Today, I'm not coming to you from Boston. Though, one more shout out to Julius Jashumba, who is from Boston. There are times when we're working on our Joomla sites and we may be emptying the Joomla cache over and over and over again to check on changes we're making in the front end of the site, maybe to a template, maybe to an article layout, or a number of other things. It can consume a lot of time using the menu system over and over again to empty the cache, but I have good news for you. Regular Labs has a plugin that is a huge time saver when it comes to emptying the Joomla cache. That's what this tutorial is about. Let's head on over to the computer and check it out. Now a quick word before we get started. I hope that you'll subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications because it will let you know when there's new tutorials posted, but also let you know when there's a live stream. I'm hoping to do some live streaming to give us a little bit more of a one-on-one -on -one communication, maybe answer some questions and see where that takes us. So subscribe and ring that bell, please. So we are looking at this cache cleaner plugin from Regular Labs. We're logged into the back end of the basic Joomla site. One of the sites I have in basic Joomla, this site I have just for free extensions because there is a free and a paid version of this plugin. And today we're going to look at the free version logged into the back. We want to install it. And to do that with regular labs, you want to go to components, regular labs, extension manager. Now, if you don't already have the regular labs extension manager, here's, let me log in again. What you want to do is go to regular labs, download it and install it. And I have a tutorial on doing that. I'll put a card up here in the page at this point and include it at, in the end screen cards as well. So when we go to regular labs, extension manager, we're going to go down to cache cleaner and install. Click on install, click start. Once it's installed, we get this message here, clear your browser's cache. And we can click on the system plugin button. That takes us to the system plugins. And we just need to filter for word cache. Once that comes up, it's System Regular Labs Cache Cleaner that we want to do the setup for. And here are the settings. Purge cache, yes. Clear the expired cache, the update cache, the uh, OP cache. I don't even know what the OP cache is, but I purge it. And uh, if you want to clean the cache ever by using the front end of your site, you can put a front end secret word in this field and just add it to the end of this URL, of course, changing your domain to whatever your domain is. Now in this next setting, automatic cleaning on save, if I turn this to yes, which I always do using this, anything that you do in the back end of the site that's listed down here, clean on tasks. So let's save, apply, apply, publish, unpublish, other things. Whenever you save an article, for example, it will empty the cache. That is really great because if you have just uh, made an edit to an article, you want to see the latest version, the cache gets cleaned, you're always seeing the freshest one. It's especially good if you have users that are doing things in the back end of your site because sometimes they'll make changes and if, the ca if they go to view their changes, if they're adding to a blog or whatever they're doing and they don't see things change, it gets confusing to them. This way, if they were to be working in the back end and save something and change it, it clears the cache, they always see the fresh version. Now, if you have users that are uh, editing things through the front end, such as a blog or, or a calendar or whatever they're logged into the front end to use, you can also enable the cache to be cleaned whenever a front end user does one of these actions below. Now, show message here. This will show a message saying that the cache has been cleaned and what size the cache was. The default for the administrator when it's enabled is yes. And for the front end, it's no. Don't really need to show them a message on the front end. Now, in this particular case, no one's going to use the front end anyway, so I'll just keep things simple and say no. On the next tab, when we go to description, it just tells you what uh, this plugin does. 
we go to advanced and we have some interesting options here. Again, this is in the free version. There's many more options in the pro version. And I'll do another tutorial on the pro version. And once I have that done, I'll put a card to it at this point in the video and probably in the end screens, or it'll be in a playlist for, um, for this component or for regular labs component. But up here, our choice is, do we want to empty the temporary folder only via a button? Yes, we want to empty it or no. And this is when things are saved. So I'm going to say, yes, we want to empty the temporary folder uh, when things are saved, which would go back to this setting back here, automatic cleaning on save. Let's click back to this advanced tab. And now at the bottom here, do we want to show the size of the cache when it was deleted? That's just preference for you. Ignore files or folders. When we mouse over this, we see you can put in there a path that is relative to the root of the site so that if there are some folders that you don't want getting deleted uh, uh, when the cache is clean, you can put an exact path and the cache will be clean, but certain files will be ignored. So if you run into a situation where it's like, yes, I want most of the cache clean, but I do want some things left in there, you can customize it with an individual path there to those files. And then finally, the administrator module options, and this is the module that appears in the back end of the site, not the front end of the site. You can display an icon only for deleting the cache, text only, or both. And we're going to see when we save this that that, that, that uh, icon and text, which I'm going to leave selected both, will appear up here. And that's what you click to empty the cache in a quicker way than going through the Joomla menu system. But you also can change the text that's in that button. And you have to choose whether you're going to display the toolbar as a button, display that toolbar button. And I will say yes. So those are all the settings. We can save and close. And we'll see right away we have this button here for clean the cache. Now, if I click on that right now, it shows up here, cache cleaned. Oh, it went very quick. Cache cleaned, it was about 10K. Let me click it again. It shows no size there. Let's put something in the cache for it to change. I'll just preview the front of the site. Free Joomla. Install. And now we can click cache. We're going to watch up here for what size is deleted. And we'll see there nothing was deleted. That's because there's no caching turned on in this site. Let's do that quickly. System. Global configuration. And under the system tab. We will, I'll set cache to on conservative cache. And we'll just save and close. Notice the clean cache button was there at the top, but on the main control panel, it doesn't appear. But other panels like uh, content articles or other screens, it does show up here to the right. If you need to clean the cache and that button does not show up where you're working on the site, of course, you can always go back to system, clear cache, and then go through the options there of selecting what you want to clear or deleting all if the button doesn't show up. Now when we refresh the front end of the site, we can go back and I will then clean the cache and we'll see just above that the size of the cache that has been cleaned. Clean cache, 64 kilobytes. All right. Now also, let's refresh this page. That makes a cached version of this page and go into that getting started article and I'm going to take out this second question mark from an earlier uh, demonstration I was doing for someone now when I go save or save and close the cache is going to be emptied automatically because that's what we set the plugin to do and we'll see the message at the top there we go cache clean 58 kilobytes article successfully saved. So that is a tool that is really going to save a lot of time for you when you are doing things in the front end of your site, making changes in the back, and you want to refresh your Joomla site, but not from the cache, simply hitting the clean cache button. Question for you Joomla fans. Do you think you'll add this regular labs cache cleaner plugin to your Joomla site? And what is it that you do on your site that causes you to have to empty the cache most often? Leave your answer in the comments section below. Remember, subscribe, ring the bell, like, 
share this video, and most of all, enjoy your Joomla sites. Here's the end cards I told you were coming up. God bless. And to using Joomla and getting more success, success, Ooh. it can be, it can be quite kind, it, it can, it can be quite time, it can be, it can be really, can consume a lot of time. Tim Davis here. I'm a cyber salt. I'm a cyber salt fan too. Well, I am.